Hey guys, me host Super Solo. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got a bunch of Power of the Force figures. I'm going to do one big video here for you guys, opening up all of these Power of the Force figures. So we have uh, we have Obi Wan Kenobi in his Jedi training gear. We have Poe Snitkin with Force Pike and Blaster Pistol from the uh, Sail Barge. We have Zam Wessel. I don't have a Zam Wessel, so I'm stupidly excited about that. Then we got Hammerhead. One thing I've been wanting my mod on for a long time. Then we've got uh, Garindon, which is basically Long Snoot. Which somebody said on a group the other day that apparently the person in that suit was John Wayne. That can't be right, can it? Um, and then Princess Leia Organa, basically Slave Leia. Well, we are never, probably never going to see another Slave Leia ever again. And I am going to bust these bad boys out of the packaging because I am stupidly excited to get into them. So let's do this. Where to start, where to start, where to start. I want to look at this Zam Wessel first because actually Zam Wessel is a character I've never owned. I was on the um, episode two. Tries to kill Padme. Oh God, this is well and truly stuck. This has been like re-glued or something. There we go. Yeah, she tries to kill Padme on behalf of uh, Django Fett. No mistakes this time. And she releases the snakes into Padme's room. So there's nothing else on that packaging. Wow. Pfft, that smells. Yeah. <laughs> so Attack of the Clones 2, Zam Wessel. Ten years after the fight to save Naboo from invasion, the galaxy is on the brink of civil war. Under the leadership of the renegade Jedi, thousands of solar systems threaten to uh, to uh, saccade from the Galactic Republic. A courageous Jedi Knight, his impulsive and headstrong apprentice, and a queen turned senator are drawn into the heart of the conflict at the beginning of the war. Attack of the Clones. Cool, so we have a Zam Wessel. Now she's got a little thing holding her gun in hand, although it is literally falling apart at the seams. It's like, obviously it's like one of those little rope ties, and because of the age it's gone twang, and it's just sat inside the packaging all rotten away, so I'm going to remove that straight away. Put that to one side for the bin. Blech. So hopefully she'll still hold her gun well. Mm, kind of. The figure itself is pretty decent though. Can't really move her too much. Her arm moves up and down. Um, her hands are static. Her legs kind of move up and down. Moving pretty well for an old figure to be honest. She does have a little holster for a pistol though, so I'm happy about that. So I can put the uh, put the pistol in the little side pocket there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go straight to the desk cam so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I've realised you can't see a thing. One moment. So there's Zan Wessel, guys, on the uh, the old cam there. See, so we can get a closer look at her. She looks very cool, actually. Try to turn the brightness up a little bit. It's pretty dark in it this morning. Yeah, the figure itself is quite nice. Um, very different. But it's a decent enough figure. Um, I've put the, the the pistol in the side holster, like I was saying, um, so I can get her to actually hold the the gun. And she comes with a blast effect as well. Does that actually sit in the end of the? No, it doesn't sit in the end of the gun. So when does that even go? <laughs> she comes with like a blast effect, but it doesn't, there's no way you would even connect that. It wouldn't go in the end of the guns or anything. Mm. Let's try and put the big rifle in our hand. I see your hands are perfect for the rifle. She's got the long, the long trigger finger, which is going to go through the <laughs> super soldier who's found a spider. Um, yeah, so you can kind of put a hand through there, oop, and then put the other hand up to hold it. So yeah, that's going to be the best course of action for this figure, I think, to have her as a constant sniper. 
like that, and then like that. Yeah, that's going to be your best bet. Either way, cool figure. We finally got a Zam Wessel for the collection, so I'm happy about that. Like I say, she's been a figure that's eluded me for a lot of years, so finally happy to have one. Let's move on. I might get rid of this backdrop because it's it's actually causing light issues, isn't it? There we go. It was, it was stopping the light for some reason. Right, moving on. Uh, we've got Long Snoot. Another cool looking figure, one that I've never had before. Again, you can never have... I always say you can never have too many races and aliens. Obviously when you're building dioramas, like I'm trying to build up the cantina scene behind me, you can never have too many too many scoundrels and alien races and things like that to populate it. Obviously a really cool assassin. So here's the little thing on the back there. Height 1.85 meters. He's a spy from Kubas. Affiliation to the highest bidder. Weapon of choice is Blaster Pistol. And there's the other figures that were in this range at the time. Very cool. A lot of Chinese right on this one. Very cool. Let's throw that to one side. And here he is. Yee. So his cloak doesn't come off. That's, that's uh, fastened on. Um, other than that, the figure looks pretty cool though. Let's put the can we get the gun in his hand? That's a that's a closed palm hand. Oh, that's closed, well, that's got like a grenade or something in it. Damn. So we've got this one. Will the gun slide into that hand? Yeah. So again, a very cool background character for us to have for the can cantina. He's definitely going straight to the cantina scene. How cool. So yeah, I'll pop him back there for now. So that's a long snoot. Zam Wessel. Next up, this is the power of the force line for Pote Snitkin. It's got his force pike and his blaster pistol along with a freeze frame action slide. Now the, now the action slides you were meant to put inside Luke Skywalker's mi uh, macro binoculars and basically see scenes from the movie like a viewfinder. These are the other figures from the range. I am actually on the hunt at the moment because I want the Darth Vader with the removable helmet. I would like um, Ish Tib for the uh, cantina scene, but I would love some more Ewoks for my village. Plus, always on the hunt for Jabba. So I am still hunting these kind of figures down as I go to collect, you know, cons and stuff. And I know, I know a lot of people would be hating me right now for opening these figures. But I don't care. I unbox them so you don't have to. I wonder if I could ever find one of those micro binocular things. Because that is pretty cool. That's very cool. These are by Kenner from 1998. From Return of the Jedi. Okie dokie, put that to one side. Along with that blast effect. <laughs> okay, Pope Snickin. Yeah, got his mace and his big gun. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that guy, man. Look how cool. He's big and bulky as well. He does have his big mace-like weapon, which is pretty cool. But my favorite is this big, this big rifle. Arms and stuff do still move on it. Uh, they are a little bit hindered by the costume piece, but the costume piece can come off, look. So that's pretty cool. So you can take the top layer off if you wanted. But I like him just as then the. I like him just like with the thing on though, to be honest. Why does it remind me of Cog so much? Alright, welcome to my cave. <laughs> so 
So yeah, I can put the gun there. So that's pretty cool. And of course we've got his other weapon. Hands are static and stuff, you can't really do anything with them. They are five POAs, these. So yeah. I'm probably not, not, not going to use the mace, to be honest, because it's very soft, palatable plastic, and it's really going to be hard to go into the hand, so... Probably shove that to one side, but yeah, the gun's good enough for me. Awesome looking little character. Love that. Uh, where should we go next? Let's go Hammerhead. Again, a character I've been dying to get my hands on. Because they, I've, I've actually got the Hammerhead because I want to customise him. I'm going to try and pick up another one for the, just so I've got a standard one for the collection. But I am basically going to cut... Oh, that's good to know that that comes off. Mm. Um, because I want to customise one. I want to make Doc Ondar from Galaxy's Edge. So I needed the base of a hammerhead. And then I need to find some like white robes and a satchel. And I can basically make hammerhead. Uh, I can basically make the Doc Ondar hammerhead from uh, Galaxy's Edge. And I would love that for my uh, diorama and stuff. Doc, Doc Ondar is the, um, the dealer at the Den of Antiquities. Where you buy all your lightsabers and merch and things. And, and you know like your, your, your artifacts and things at Galaxy's Edge. So I would love that to have him as a character. So I think this is going to be a great base for that. And all we need is like a white robe over the top. And then you've basically got it. So that's going to be cool. But for now, there he is. And here's his ginormous weaponry. <laughs> that is massive. I don't think I'll ever display him with that weapon because it's just ridiculous. But for now, he until until his transformation into Doc Ondar, he will frequent my uh, cantina scene. Once we've unboxed all these, we'll go place them on the cantina. Coming up to the final two now, we've got two more to go. We've got Slave Layer and this Obi-Wan Kenobi that I've never seen before in my life. This is the training Obi-Wan. So this is from Phantom Menace for like a split second when he's in that blue suit when he's talking to Obi-Wan. He's talking to uh, Qui-Gon. Isn't, I think that's the scene anyway. It's the, is it the bit where he's talking to Qui-Gon about the midichlorians? About how powerful Anakin is. I think it's that scene. But it, has been a, it has been a little while since I've seen Phantom Menace. Okay, so the figure's out, but we have got this other piece over here. What's this? Is that just a card? Ooh, an eight-page info packet. Let's have a look at the eight-page info packet. So, this is the Jedi Training Gear Obi-Wan. Oh, wow, he has strength stats and things. Oh, my God. Force power of 13. Save the spaceport. These are the adventures we can send him on. So the Rodian terrorists have strategically hidden three powerful thermal detonators in a busy spaceport outside uh, outside uh, Coronet on the planet of Corellia. Assist the strike team of Jedi to evacuate the spaceport, then locate and disarm the weapons. Cap cap capture the terrorists alive and bring them for a trial at the Senate. Or you can go Jedi trials training. In his advanced stage of training, Obi-Wan must learn... Must learn to battle blind, using only the power of the Force to battle uh, Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn in the training arena of the Jedi Temple. Beware of the dangerous electric walls and vacuum pipes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there's his skills, his gear, his tech, and then finally, what is that? Oh, the Star Wars Jedi Kids Club. Fill out this below. Send to Jedi Kids Club P.O. Box, Bozeman. That's cool. Wow. That's a cool little info booklet. I like that. I'm putting that to one side. I'm going to save that. Okay, so here is our training version of uh, of, of uh, Obi-Wan. 
And you can get um, Qui-Gon in a similar outfit. And I like that little storyline idea as well, sending Obi-Wan to the trials. So he's still got his Padawan braid at this point. He's in his training gear. And obviously he's got the helmet that blinds him so that when he when he's using the lightsaber, he's using the force and his senses rather than his eyes. So that's pretty cool. And then he comes, of course, with his blue trusted lightsaber. I would love to find the um the other figures from this like the uh, I'd love to find the Qui-Gon Jin that came in this line. Because the, the training Qui-Gon Jin would be quite a cool figure to own. And his arm his arm rotates in this one as well. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So yes. Training Obi-Wan Kenobi. Finally, we're down to the last fig of the bunch. It's time to open Princess Leia Organa. Now, Princess Leia Organa, obviously Slave Leia. We're never going to see this figure ever again. Ever again. Um, I don't think so, anyway. They did rename her Hut, Hut Slayer, but um, I don't think Disney will ever recreate this figure now at this point. Although we are coming up to the anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they will give her some love, but we'll have to see. There's all the details on the back from the figure line. And there's the other figures that came in the pack with her. So let's bust her out. I need I just need Ula now. If, can, if someone can help can help can help me locate an Ula, I'd be very happy. Oh god, she even comes with a chain. So she even does come with the chain piece as well. So you can put the chain around her neck. <laughs> so there she is. Slave Leia. Again, she's a, a classic 5 POA figure, but this is probably the nicest of the Slave Leias I've ever, I've ever, ever seen, to be honest. This is even, like, a little bit better than the Black Series one. The face on the Black Series one is awful. So, I mean, this one isn't too bad. Not a bad little thing. So that's all of the uh, figures that I got from Comic-Con the other week. I do have another two figures um, that I've already opened on the channel, as you saw earlier. And I hope you enjoyed this big, long video of me opening this bunch of figures. Uh, we are almost caught up. We've just got some um, big play sets still to go, and uh, I'll be opening those very soon on the channel, so stay tuned, guys. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and place these on our on our uh, cantina play set. Let's do this. There you go. Those three new figures have helped populate the bar a little bit more. I do love having some new aliens for the bar. And then Snoot's in the corner there, ready to strike. Awesome. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. If you're new around here, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye!